Margot Robbie as Harlequin returns to the big screen in DC's Birds of Prey, after she impressed in 2016 Suicide Squad as one of the standout characters. In this video, I wanted to focus on some of Harley Quinn's psychological character traits, and specifically what we can take away from them to help us lead more enriching lives. I'm not using her as an example to follow, as I normally do with characters or people I cover on the channel, but rather taking elements from each trait to better understand what we can apply in our lives based on the specific area. I will be discussing some mental health issues, and don't want to make light of them, so if you do suffer from any mental health issues, I can't recommend enough that you take the necessary action to help you cope with them. It is a serious issue, and while this video focuses on a fictional character, it is something many of us struggle with in our day to day lives. Right, for those wondering who Harley Quinn is, she's a villain in the Batman universe, who first appeared in Batman the Animated Series back in September 1992. She's gone on to become one of the most popular characters in the DC library, which has led to her prominence on the big screen today. The character started out as Dr Harleen Frances Quinzel, a psychologist in Arkham Asylum who fell in love with the Joker while she was treating him. This led her to becoming his accomplice when escaping from the asylum. Eventually, she chose to don a court jester outfit as she takes on the role of Harley Quinn, Joker's greatest and most loyal ally, in what is an abusive relationship that she's in denial about. This makes her a particularly interesting character, as she delves into the psychological character traits such as Histrionic Personality Disorder Quite possibly the most evident mental health issue that Harley struggles with is histrionic personality disorder, whereby the individual is often seen to be seeking attention, often through some very telltale signs. This can range from overtly seductive behaviour, wearing highly provocative clothing, seeking to be the centre of attention, being impressionable or even gullible, and misunderstanding the intimacy of social relationships. Simply put, this describes Harley in a nutshell, especially when you consider her relationship to the Joker, one which he often takes advantage of while showing some of his darker character traits, being both emotionally and potentially even physically abusive. Now while most of us won't suffer from this in our own lives, we can learn a little about how to avoid behaviour that might share some similarities. While histrionic personality disorder can be difficult for therapists to treat, they often do so by identifying the sources of a patient's insecurities and working on which priorities they need to focus on in life. That's a pretty short summary of possible treatments of what is a challenging psychological condition, but you can take an important lesson from this, which is that we often exhibit extroversion behaviours to mask personal insecurities. If this is the case, then we need to learn to identify these and consider how to deal with them, learning techniques to help us develop a greater sense of self worth. By doing this, we can make progression towards a more satisfying life that's less likely to impact our relationship with others. Psychological Threats Harlequin is an incredibly smart person, and it's something that many casual fans underestimate about her given her relationship to the Joker as well as her general behaviour or demeanour. Having a history as a psychologist means that she understands the psyche of those she encounters in life, being able to use this to extremely destructive means if she wishes to do so, elements of which are often seen as she is characterised as playing psychological games when in conflict, and sometimes even friendly situations with other characters. So assuming most of you don't intend to try and harm people psychologically, how can this be something that you can utilise in your own life? Well, the thing is, it's useful to try and develop an understanding about psychology and how we think as individuals in life, as this can go a long way in understanding our behaviour, or the behaviour of those around us. The benefits of doing so helps us better understand how and why people react the way they do, and what we can do in those circumstances to help deal with the situations in a way that's productive and beneficial, rather than destructive as Harley would do. Manipulation In part related to the point made about psychology previously, Harley uses her knowledge and skill to often manipulate people, usually those who are in conflict with her and the Joker, but also those she's in collusion with, 
including the Joker himself. This allows you to control situations in a masterful way, which is incredibly useful and important for her, as she's rarely facing off against opponents weaker than her. The fact is, it's not really difficult to understand that manipulating people in life isn't a value many people want to be known for. However, that doesn't mean it's to be completely ignored either. You see, there are times in life where such knowledge and skills are not only needed, but of vital importance, just that they're known in different ways, such as being persuasive. It may not seem attractive, but these skills are necessary, as you need to try and apply them, at least to an acceptable degree, in situations such as when interviewing for a job, or when trying to make a sale. The fact is, while I don't recommend manipulation, I do recommend understanding techniques that help you get ahead in life, in a way that's not to the detriment of others. Actually, I don't think it's just recommended, but absolutely necessary. Environmental Effects Simply put, it's because of the Joker that Harley and Quinzel became Harlequin. From someone who was a promising therapist to becoming one of the most iconic villains in the DC pantheon. And this is a key lesson to take away with you. Your environment influences who you are as an individual. In the case of Harley Quinn, she was susceptible to the influence of her patients, meaning she placed herself in an environment that she wasn't ready to cope with. This is critical to understand in your life. Who you spend time with and where you are is going to influence you and who you are. So take precaution and be careful about the environment you spend time in. Try, where possible, to make it as positive as possible, and one which will help your growth and development in life, as it's vital to your well-being and potential future success. Need for Focus It's fair to say that Harlequin exhibits traits of a sufferer of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, better known as ADHD. She shows this in her interpersonal relationships, where she's often inattentive and impulsive. The one question I'd have in Harley's case is whether she actually has ADHD, or whether the symptoms she shows are actually more about the previous personality traits where she uses them for personal advantage. If we go with the assumption that she is hyper and actually unable to focus, this is something many of us face today, especially with the stimulation we get in our day-to-day -day lives. Obviously, we don't all suffer from ADHD, but it's easy to get distracted and not maintain focus instead giving in to impulses for immediate gratification from distractions around us. Here, I'd say to avoid the pitfalls Harley often seemingly falls in, and develop the skills to maintain concentration and focus, as doing so will take you a long way in life, especially in the modern world. Are you a fan of Harley Quinn and planning to watch her in Birds of Prey? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.